Hey everybody, I'm Katie with Electrified Marina and today I'm out here with Casey. This is actually his boat, both of them, but he's gonna tell us a little bit about the Zero Jet OC Tender. The hull is a uh, OCT, Offshore Cruising Tenders. It's a full carbon hull. They give it to Zero Jet, and Zero Jet takes it and they put in an electric jet drive. So like a jet ski drive, but electric, they put an OC tender. Awesome. And which model is this that you have here, Casey? So this is the 330, which is like the length and size. That's what fits on our boat. For us, we use it on our davits. This is our daily driver. This is how we get to shore when we're on anchor. We got the wheels so we can pull the boat up on the beach. The most important accessory, which you can't even see right now, is we've got an aluminum skid plate on the bottom. We run this boat aground, we go into shallow places. So having an aluminum armor plate on the bottom is key for us, along with having board mounts on the front. Wonderful. And so your average trip on this boat, what would you say? How many miles are you going? Are you even going miles? Are you just running back and forth to beaches or restaurants? Or what does your average day look like? With this setup, we've been living board now for eight months. The daily use is short. Okay. We use it every day, but it's we anchor off a beach and we go to the beach. So like we go like 200 feet. We don't usually go that far. Sometimes we do. So sometimes we anchor this boat like, hey, there's a cool sandbar stingray beach that we can't bring the boat to that's like a couple miles away. Yeah. And then we'll use the dinghy for that. But that's actually pretty rare. Like living aboard and using this boat every day. Yeah. We don't go that far that often. All right. And then capacity wise, how many people are you taking on average? So we get, we're a family of four. Yeah. So if it's just us, me and my wife, two kids, like this gets up, flies, it planes, easy to use. And I, my rule of thumb is like 10% per mile. So battery, like I know if I'm going a mile, I'll lose roughly 10% okay. how I like to drive the boat. So I've kind of learned that, but. How you like to drive the boat? Does that mean like full speed? Yeah. Okay. Basically full speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the battery on this boat, do you know where it is? And yep. How so we got, it? we got two batteries right okay. here. Uh, they are in series. So each one is a 24 volt battery, mm -hmm. which makes it a 48 volt system. 48 volt system on this. And we also have a 48 volt system on the primary ship. Okay. We charge this off of this boat. If we run the battery down, like if we're out playing, wakeboarding, doing stuff, come in for lunch, 30 minutes, we're back out there going again. Wow. If we want to do like a full charge, yeah. it's about two hours. That's great. To fully charge, but yeah. that's, it's never been a problem. Awesome. <laughs> so you mentioned are the wheels, surfboard rack, anything else about this particular boat that would be different than the standard? We added a couple saddlebags. Mm -hmm. So these are third party. You always need yeah. more storage. You gotta like drop your cell phone and whatever in here. Is that little cube something somebody sits on? So these are, there's one there. Uh huh. And then this one is tied in because the boat is not a rib. It's a carbon hull mm -hmm. that doesn't have inbuilt flotation. So this is what this and that cube are what would float the boat. But it also doubles as like a seat. So some people like yeah. to drive. I, I sit on the side, but like you can sit on this. There's actually oars in here too. So yeah, we got, we got some flotation pads, which if you need to row, but mostly I haven't had to row for propulsion purposes. I row when we're like going into really shallow water. That's the best way to move it when you're in like less than a foot of water. Tell us a little bit more about the motor. What is the top speed? So yeah, get up and go. We go like 18 knots. Yeah. It's a five kilowatt motor. Jet ski wise, like that gets us up and going and it's mostly about efficiency. So the most important thing for this motor is to be efficient and to have range with the batteries. And that's what it's really good at. Have you had tenders before? Oh yeah, tons. So what do you like about this different than your past tenders? It's light, fast, sporty, and doesn't have gas leak. Our previous, like, it, it was great. So we still have it, but I don't like carrying around gas leak. Like it's flammable, it's dirty, it smells. Basically, I don't like gas on the boat. So our boat, we have no gas leak. That's awesome. I'm sure also you guys travel, you go to the Bahamas, you're all over the place. It's not easily accessible. Yeah. I'm sure it's pricey. So this is nice because you can just charge it right at your boat. You don't have to worry about where you're getting fuel. 
Um, the recharge time is awesome. 30 minutes for a big bump in the charge and then two hours for a full charge is fantastic. So you used it multiple times during a day. This thing has seen a number of hours in the eight months you've had it. We've been living on this boat with this is our, like this is our daily driver, this is our car. We've been doing it for eight months. And zero problems. I wouldn't say zero problems. So we've done maintenance, but zero jet's been really good. Zero jet, super responsive, other than them being in New Zealand. So yeah. like in the evening, I'm like, hey, this is what's going on with the boat. And basically 4 p.m. our time, yeah. they wake up and they're like, hey, try this, do this get it running and we've gotten it running. So I've had issues, but I have not had any issues while I've needed the tender. Every time I've had an issue, we've been on a dock and it's been fixed before I go back on anchor. Would you say this boat is fairly easy to maneuver? Can your kids drive it? I mean, how easy are we talking steering? Oh, definitely. They can totally drive it. Uh, yeah, so my 11 year old son can totally drive it. Awesome. It's roughly a 300 pound dinghy, pretty light because it's all carbon. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering all my questions. Now the yep. part I'm most excited about, let's take it on the water. Let's do it. You holding on, we're gonna go. Go for the juice, here we go. Three, two, one.